Seventh grade, lesson 114. This one is on graphing linear equality, inequalities. Now, before I talk to you about this, let's talk about this graph. This is our y-axis and this is our x-axis, all right? Now, if I gave you an inequality, which means um, that it doesn't equal something, um, you're going to have to graph it. But before we do inequalities, we're going to do one that does equal. So x plus y equals 10. So I would come up with an xy chart that something plus something would equal 10. So 5 and 5, 2 and 8, 4 and 6, all of those equal 10. So if I graph those, okay, what you see we get is a line, okay? So that is x plus y equals 10. But an inequality is one that doesn't equal something. It's going to be less than, greater than, or equal to. All right, so now if I were to say something plus something is less than 10, give me an equation instead of these numbers that equal less than 10. So give me something plus something that equals 9. Uh, 4 and 5. 4 and 5. Okay, give me something that equals 6. Uh, 4 and 2. All right, and give me something that equals something another less than 10, too. Uh, one, one. Okay, so let's graph these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 1, 1. What do you notice? They're all under this line. Okay? So when you graph this, x plus y is less than 10. Do you remember how when you draw lines, um, if it's equal to, you make it a solid line? If it's not equal to, then it's a dotted line. Do you remember that rule? Mm -hmm. If it's equal to, then you have a solid line. And if it's less than or greater than, it's going to be a dotted line. Because it doesn't equal that amount. Okay? So, look at here. So, when I show on this graph that x plus y is less than 10, I'm going to fill in all of this. Do you know why I did that? Because I don't want to go greater than 10. For example, uh, 6 and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 5. It's past this line. We're wanting to show a graph that is less than that line. Now, if it said less than and equal to, that means it could be less than 10, but it also could be equal to 10. Guess what happens to the starting line? It fills in solid because it could equal it, which means it's solid. Got it? Mm -hmm. Like you understand it? Yeah. All right, let's try a few of these um, that you can do. All right, here we go. Listen to this problem, because these are the kind of problems you're going to get. All right? Every day, Angela runs and or walks for 15 to 20 minutes. That's how long she walks or runs. Write two inequalities for Angela's running and walking time. And graph both of these on... Okay, so, sorry about that. Okay, as I was saying, um, that this girl, Angela, runs anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes, and we have to graph that. So let me show you how to write an inequality for this. Okay? And x plus y is less than or equal to 20 minutes, and an x plus y is greater than or equal to 15 minutes. Okay, do you understand what I just showed? Yeah. Because however much she runs, it's going to be greater or equal to 15 minutes, right? This is how long she walks or runs. Anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes. All right, sorry about that again. Okay, so this is how long Angela walks, 15 to 20 minutes. So whatever the numbers are, it's either greater than 15, or it could, she could have just walked 15 minutes. That means equal. Do you see that? 
greater than or equal to 15. But did she go more than 20? No. So she went, whatever the two numbers are, she went less than 20, or maybe she did equal 20. See how that is? So I can go with these two inequalities based on her knowing that she walked for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so now let's graph that. Okay? So basically I try to come up with two numbers that are less than or equal to 15. So let's do that. Um, 7 and 8 equals 15. 7 and 3 is... Oh no, we have to do greater, sorry. Uh, 7 and... 10 is greater than 15, but it's still less than 20. Um, how do we come up with some 20s? 10 and 10? 10? 10 and 10 is equal to 20. Okay, so let's just graph those. All right, so here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Dot right there. Oh, All right, so... As I said, I'm going to go and graph these. So 7, 8 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 8 is right here. 7, 10 is right here. And 10, 10 is right here. I think I did that right. Okay, so what I want you to see is let's pretend like this said equals. I'm going to go and put out to the side what it was. And equals. Okay. If x plus y equaled 20, then it would be right here. Okay, now I'm going to go up this. Oops. <laughs> okay, I already said a minute. Okay, so here's this line. Okay, that's if it equaled 20. But let's do one that equals 15. 7 plus 8 equaled 15, which is this dot. So, that equals. You see how I did that? Mm-hmm. Okay, because we've got 7 plus 8, or 8 plus 7 right here, and that makes that line. And then the 10 plus 10 makes this line. So she walked greater than 15 minutes, or equal to, or she walked less than, or equal to, 20 minutes. See that? So this graph right here shows 15 or greater than 15 minutes, but not any more than 20 minutes, and it's not less than 15. It's 15 to 20. Do you get it? Okay, so I put this back the way it was. I do want solid lines because they both have the equal sign on the bottom. And then I've got a less than and then a greater than. It's less than 20, less than 20, but it's greater than 15. See that? So it makes up this piece. All right? So that's how you're going to graph this to show it. All right? That's lesson 114.